welcome back again so in this video we will add uh, the button here to change the, the the name of the product and another button here to change the description and another one to change the the price so what we will do here is to add uh, some form so I choose to do it via, via the, the model so we click to the button here and some model appear here so we don't have to go to navigate to another page another view so and we fill the form we change and we submit so what how, how we will do it with the bootstrap model uh, bootstrap uh, model so you just have to go to bootstrap and create uh, search for a model and you will find it so you can see it's nice uh, here we will put our four uh, we don't want this one because it's not centered I uh, choose this one because it's nice and uh, appear in the center of the, the our page so what we will do is just copy and pass and refactor refactor it to So this is the price uh, ID. No, we don't need. Uh, this is the price. We we'll add one here. Add one here. Uh -huh. I will fix that. We we'll add one here, and we we'll add one here for the price too so select all to select and refuse format so here we have everything nice and clean and uh, what we'll do here is to uh, for example the ID here and uh, so in the model what we have here is we need this model each button here attached to each it's a it's a model so what we have here is we will have multiple button and we need to know exactly that this button associate uh, attached to its own model and this one its own model so on so what how we will solve this problem with this you can see here the here the uh, it's button data toggle model and data target this is the target and you can here this is the actual model the same the ID here is the same so what we will do here is to make this dynamic with theme leaf th uh, attribute attribute eagle data target and we so a data target and we add base example model center and we need to differentiate it so we add the id the id of the products product products id so we make sure that each model is unique and attached to to and uh, each barn is attached to unique model uh, model so here we will do the same to each ID and uh, we have that that plus products ID uh, so 
I will be doing the same th the same thing uh, for other other model and other button. So I will finish it and we'll be back again. So in the model body, the model body, we will add our form to change the the name or the description. Here, I mean here. Here we will add. This is the model body. Here we will add our form. So I finished uh, doing all of the other model. So what we want to this button to be a BTN success, which is a green button, and BTN uh, uh, SM, which is uh, a class for button, small button of the Bootstrap, and MT2, which is which stand for margin top. 2 pixel or 2 uh, m depend so uh, and uh, uh, like we said the dark target so we have the example model center plus the product id uh, so, uh, so just to make sure that each button is associated uh, uh, and the product id will be unique you knew we know that for sure so uh, this will make each button associate or trigger a unique model model so I finished the, uh, and we added the for example for, uh, added the for the form for example here the this is gonna be uh, uh, change the name of the products and here the name the the form change the name with the with the map with this and uh, we pass the ID of the product just to retrieve the retrie retrieve the in the control of the ID so we can find which product we want to update and uh, we pass it as a disable because we don't want anybody to change it we just pass it to so we can use it on the control side and uh, this is the new the new uh, another field for Print the uh, the new name of the product. So the same uh, the same principle for the description and the price. The same principle. Uh, new product price. Da, da, da. Change price. The same principle. So the result is this. So we have uh, some nice nice volume change. Uh, change name gives uh, gives us the the form. You can close it. See, it's nice in the center. So change. It's so you can see if this is the ID six. If it's passed here, because uh, uh, the value I'm uh, I'm uh, passing the value also. So we we need the in the controller side. Uh, so it's time to implement the controller. I'm gonna implement just one. The the rest is gonna be the same. The pretty much the same, the same logic, uh, the same logic for all the. Uh, for example, I'm gonna implement these these change description. No, uh, I'm gonna start with the first one. Uh, change name. Uh, we send the, the the request with the pass method. We can use just put, but I prefer pass or or uh, get. I prefer pass. So if we go to the controller. Uh, post post mapping. That's post mapping, and uh, we give it the URL. Change the name and the uh, public string always string change name p name p name and what we gonna get here is something that's called a request para a request para it's the ID, the ID, 
which is a long ID. Then a re another request param, which is the new name. Uh, request request param, which is let's see the name we gave it here. We gave it here new products name this one new product name and uh, and we just it's gonna be string and uh, name and uh, what we will do is we need uh, we'll create a product product objects p new product new product uh, product come on give us uh, product new product and uh, with these products we need to retrieve the products we want to update and uh, repo products repository we will be using the products repository a, a lot so pro uh, probably in the next episode we will start using something that's called service find by id we'll find this return an optional so we need to get it get that product and the sets name we set the name to name the new the new one and uh, and what we do uh, product repo save save this actually it's tricky a little bit so this actually not gonna save a new product but it's gonna find the product existing there with the same id so it's not gonna save another product it's just gonna uh, update the existing product and return we what we return we redirect to the our product list so we can see the change so basically this is the the logic we will be doing hopefully this work and we'll see we the same thing for the 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 description and the price the same logic sweet update uh, change name for example we don't have uh, let's change it to laptop submit uh, let me see the error so it was given the error because I had the ID uh, this field disabled which is I thought it's a good idea but it was a, a bad idea probably if we use if we are u submitting the form via Ajax or JavaScript we will we won't get this error but since now we submitted this form the this way directly to the control we're getting the this error so uh, we need to get rid of the disabled field anyway it should run and see the results come on uh, for example we will change this our bag to to a phone this is not anymore a bag so it changed it will consider the same logic for for a description and the price see you next time